Hello everyone, Brian Richards here, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to teach you the 21 card trick. What's so cool about this trick is it combines math with another principle that we magicians use called the magician's force. So if you have a regular deck of cards, get it out right now, and let's get into today's tutorial. Okay, to do this trick, what you're first going to do is you're going to deal 21 cards face up. Now, it's important you deal them the same way. I go left to right, then I do the next row, kind of like this and then I do the next row and you're overlapping them so that all the cards can be seen and you're gonna do this until you have seven in each column or 21 cards total okay so again we have uh, seven here seven here and seven here now the rest of these cards you can get rid of now what you're going to do is you're going to invite a volunteer to look at and memorize one of the cards if you're performing for just one person you can allow them to look at them with their eyes and not say out loud their card but if you perform this for a bunch of people maybe you turn around and you invite them to just point to a card quietly so that everyone can see what the chosen card is so let's say they choose this card the seven of spades what you're going to do is you're going to turn around and you're going to say is your card in column one two or three of course in this case they're going to say it's in the middle column and then what you've got to do is you've got to gather the cards and you want to put their pile in between the other two keeping them in the same order so you just kind of put their pile in between the other two piles. Then you're gonna turn this face down and you're gonna deal from the top the same way. Again, you're gonna go one, two, three across, then you're gonna do the next row and you're gonna do this until you get to the end and obviously the quicker you do this, probably the better, you don't wanna lose your audience. Uh, but then you get to the end and again, you're gonna ask them a second time, is it in one, two or three? Here's the seven of spades, so they're gonna say it's in the middle again. It could be in one of these end piles, in this case it just happened to be in the middle again. You're gonna again put their pile in between the other two. You could do this one last time, dealing the 21 cards out exactly the same way, one, two, three across, you're always doing it that way. And there's the seven of spades there. You're gonna go all the way through and you're gonna ask them one last time, is it in one, two, or three? In this case, they're gonna say it's in three. And again, you're gonna put that pile in between the other two piles. Now, after you've done this three times, what's amazing is it will put their card into the 11th position from the top of the deck. I'll show you what I mean. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. See, there it is, seven of spades. Now, obviously you could just count down and reveal their card, but to me, one of the coolest ways to reveal their card for this trick is to do what's called a magician's force. And what you're going to do is you're gonna make little piles of three. But as you, as you make the piles of three, you wanna remember where the 11th card goes. So for example, I'll go one, two, three. I'm counting in my head, not out loud normally. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Watch this, 10. 11, I, I, I put the 11th card so that's facing me. That way I remember exactly where their card is. This is their chosen card. And I continue to make these piles like so. One, two, okay. But now I don't forget, remember where their card is. Now, obviously there's going to be seven piles total. And what you're going to do is you're gonna ask your volunteer to point to, point to four, uh, uh, four piles. Now, one of two things is going to happen when you ask them to point to four piles. Either they're gonna to point to four piles, let's say one, two, three, four, and it will not involve the pile that has their card in it, or they're going to point to four piles and one of the four piles will actually have their card in it, this pile right here. So, if they point to four piles that do not involve their card, you get rid of the, the piles that they point to. If they point to, let's say, four piles, one, two, three, four, and you know one of those piles involves their card, you're gonna get rid of the three other piles that they didn't point to. This is what we call the magician's force. So let's just say they point to four piles that do not involve their card. Okay, so they point to this one, this one, this one, this one. In this case, we get rid of the piles that they pointed to. So we just get rid of them. And now we're left with three piles. And this time you're gonna say point to two piles. Now, again, they can either do one of two things. Either they're gonna point to two piles that uh, do not involve their card, in which case you just get rid of the piles they point to. But if they point to, let's say, two piles that uh, and one of the piles involves their card, then you're gonna get rid of the pile that they did not point to. So let's say they point to this one and this one, we get rid of that pile right there. Now we're down to these 
two piles. Again, you know this is their card. You're ultimately going to make sure we end up with this pile over here. So again, you say point to one pile. Now again, either they're going to point to the pile that has their card in it and you're going to get it rid of these, or they're going to point to this pile and you're still going to get rid of these. <laughs> so let's say they point to this one, you get rid of these. Trust me, they have no idea what's going on. They just think we're narrowing down the cards. Now you get down to three cards and you're doing the exact same thing, but ex except with individual cards. You know this is their card. So you say point to two cards. Now either they're going to point to these two, which is the best case scenario, and you just get rid of them and leaving this card behind. But if let's say they point to this one and this one, you're going to get rid of this one. And then you say now we're down to two, point to one. Again, if they point to the card that you know is their card, you get rid of this one. And if they point to the card that you know is not their card, uh, you get rid of it anyway. Okay, so now you're down to one and it seems like they completely narrowed it down themselves and ultimately ended up choosing this one card. And to their amazement, it is, boom, their card, the seven of spades in this case. Pretty cool, right? And that trick is so easy to perform. And if you like that trick, be sure to hit like and do subscribe to my channel. That will help me to make more videos just like this. But I have to go and muck out my lake. And trust me, that job is just as disturbing as it sounds.